Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our midweek act of worship from the churches of St. Leonard's and St. Mary's. The 3rd of May seems to be a popular uh, day for birthdays within the, the fellowship. Uh, I know of a number of members whose birthdays fall today, so uh, our uh, happy birthday to you uh, on this day. We pray that they indeed would be a blessing as well as rejoicing with those who rejoice. We also mourn with those who mourn. And we recently heard of the Duchess of Beclus passing uh, and our thoughts and hearts go to the Duke of Beclus uh, and his family uh, and their long connection uh, with the, the church, especially at, at St Mary's. So we come to worship in the highs and lows of life. We come to a God who is always present, as three in one, yet one in three. And so we light our candles to remind us of God the Trinity. We will light a light in the name of the Maker, who lit the world and breathed the breath of life into us. We will light a light in the name of the Son, who saved the world and stretched out his hand in love to us. We will light a light in the name of the Spirit, who encompasses the world and blesses our souls with yearning. We will light three lights for the Trinity of love. God above us, God beside us, God beneath us, the beginning, the end, the everlasting one. Gather us in, the lost and the lonely, the broken and breaking, the tired and aching, the young and the old, the stranger and friend. Forgive us and renew us, strengthen and heal us, for we are one family with Christ Jesus as our head. Our opening song, Jesus Christ, our living hope, a song of resurrection.
that sealed the promise you'll bear me body began to breathe out of the silence the roaring lion declared the grave has no claim on me then came the Jesus Christ, our living hope. Of course, this is alive and well too this morning. Uh, I'm sad to have some work I'm working away in the door, which I might mean we have to quite busy a little. Bit. So, in our normal Sunday service, we normally have two readings, a gospel reading and uh, a reading from the epistle or an Old Testament reading. This week, we, our gospel takes us to uh, John 14, passage that talks about Jesus saying he is the way, the truth, and the life, and that in our Father's house, there are many rooms, a very familiar passage. So I'm going to read the epistle reading for today. Uh, which takes us to First Peter, chapter 2. And there Peter writes, Rid yourself of all malice and of all deceit, hypocrisy, envy and slander of every kind. Be like newborn babies, brave pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. Now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. As you come to him, the living stone rejected by humanity, but chosen by God and precious to him, you also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. In the scripture, it says, see, I lay in Zion a stone, a chosen and precious cornerstone. Anyone who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Now, to you who believe, this stone is precious. But to those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. A stone that will cause people to stumble and a rock that will make people fall. They stumble because they disobeyed the message. 
with you is what they were destined for. But you, you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, so that you may declare his praise and glory, the praise of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received the mercy of God. We often talk about the, the metaphors of, of building. And we hear of Jesus being called a stone, the one whom we can trust and build upon. In Matthew's gospel, we hear a familiar story of a wise and a foolish builder. The foolish builder goes off and builds a house on sand with no foundations, while well, the wise man builds upon the rock. Floods come, hardship comes, struggles of life come. The foolish man's house collapses, but the one built on the rock with a sure foundation stands. We are called to build our lives on Christ like a cornerstone of the building, holding us up into a house, a spiritual house, a house of the priesthood, a house of God, a place where we receive mercy and grace. Called be part of our father's house. As he's making it hard for us today. So we go to our next song. I am who you say I am. But there is a place for me as we build in the cornerstone. We become part of that spiritual house, our father's house. That the highest king would welcome me. I was lost, but he brought me in. Oh, his love for me. Oh, his love for me. Who oh, the sun sets free. Who oh, is free.
One day there'll be normal service, whatever normal is. Let us come to the time of prayer. Lord, we thank you that we can build our lives upon you, a sure and solid foundation for our faith. We thank you that you are our cornerstone. Lord, help us to lean on you, to rely on you, to come to you with our prayers and our petitions for this day. We continue to pray for the world around us, giving thanks for the beauty and wonder of creation, but also again acknowledging man's inhumanity, acknowledging sin at work through conflict and unrest and we pray against the wars and conflicts in many countries continuing for peace praying for peace to come to ukraine the peace in sudan the peace in the world while well, we pray for our leaders and for those who are vying for power, that they would be people of justice, people of integrity, people of peace. Help them, Lord, to have sure foundations and not to build upon the unstable belief in themselves or in wealth, but to trust in you. Lord, we pray too for our new king, for Charles, as he comes to this special time of enthronement and coronation. We ask you, Lord God, that his kingship would be a reflection of his mother's kingship, of that servanthood, of that faithfulness. We thank you for his love for the earth, for the ecosystem. We pray, Lord, that although he enters a role where he may have to be seen as being politically quiet, that he would also have the opportunity to speak out for the good of the earth and of all people in need at this time. We ask you to watch over Charles and his wife, Camilla. Lord, may they not just be people who are looked to as being blessed and honoured, but may they use their positions wisely to bring good to others. We continue to pray for the whole of the, the royal family and Lord, knowing their public positions, the, the goldfish bowl that they live in. We pray for all the internal matters and how families can seem to fall apart. We pray for healing and restoration to that family. And for us and all families, where we know of divisions, where siblings fall out with each other, where family members stop speaking to each other. Lord, we pray for forgiveness, for humbleness, for opening ears to help us hear and renew our family ties. 
And Lord, as a family, a church family, we pray for the work of your church. I'm praying at this time, especially for those who mourn. We pray especially for Val as we plan and get ready for Steve's celebration and thanksgiving of his life. Thanking you for all that Steve has meant to Val and to his family and to us. And we continue to uphold before you, Jackie, giving thanks again for Marcel and her life. Lord, encourage and strengthen those who mourn. And Lord, for us as a church, we pray that as we come to celebrate the coronation, that indeed it would be a time of celebration. We pray for your blessing and your guidance upon our events over the weekend. That your hand would be upon them, that your presence would be known. That as we celebrate the enthronement of our new king, we will continue to hail you as the king of kings. And help us, Lord, to always remember that you are the foundation of our faith and to build on you, to build together a spiritual house into which all are welcome. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we've talked a lot about cornerstones and building, and our closing song for today is that song, Cornerstone, My Hope is Found. Yeah.
Dressed in his righteousness alone Faultless stand before the throne Let us pray that the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Thank you for joining with us for this short act of worship as we consider what it means to build our lives upon Christ, our cornerstone. Come along on Sunday at either church, 10 o'clock, uh, for, for worship. Uh, we would love to see you there. On Saturday afternoon, as part of our coronation celebrations, there's an opportunity to have cake and coffee and fellowship together uh, at St Mary's. And then on the Sunday afternoon, after our morning worship, uh, to join up at St Leonard's for a fellowship lunch. Uh, together to which all are invited. We hope you can be with us and enjoy this special time of celebration in our land. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Bye.